Hi, this is Ben from the DawStudio.com, and welcome to our basic mixing and Pro Tools series. This is not a fancy mixing series. We don't show any crazy techniques. We use only stock plugins, and the focus is on demonstrating tried and true mixing techniques to get a simple and solid sounding mix. In these seven videos, we show you the entire mixing process from importing multitracks to mix down. These videos show everything. No extra mixing was done off camera, and you're seeing every move from start to finish. We're using multitracks from Telefunken's Live from the Lab, and the song we're mixing is called Ode to Brekovich by Bella's Bartok. Feel free to watch these videos in or out of order, and if you enjoy them, please comment, like, and subscribe. In this episode, we cover importing multitracks. Enjoy. Okay, we're going to be working in Pro Tools to start a session and import some multitrack files. So I have Pro Tools opened up and I have the new session dashboard with uh, create a new session selected here as opposed to recent or something else. And first of all, I want to give this a name. So I'm going to call this Bella Mixing. Okay, and then I want to make sure it's 24 bit, 48 kilohertz. And then I want this prop for location. If it's set to this, it's going to automatically put it at whatever location is defined here. And that could be fine. You can change this location to be wherever you want. I just prefer to have control over where I place my project each time. And then BWF Wave is good for what we're doing here. And then you can also go to the I.O. settings and just change it to the stereo mix. And then that's the default for whatever interface you have connected. We'll hit Create. And it's going to ask, where do you want to save this? Because I didn't check the location box. And so I have a Pro Tools Projects folder, and I already have the multi-track files in that same folder. I'm going to hit Save there. And that is, of course, the folder that you see here. So there's the Bella's Mixing that we just created. And there's all the items that were created when we created that session. There's our session file, audio files, etc. And here is our multi-track folder. So I'm going to just select that, hit Command A, and I'm going to drag this in. Now I can drag it either here or to the track show hide area. And the nice thing about this is it's going to put the tracks right at the beginning. See, it's kind of hard to get it right at the beginning here. So this will put it exactly at the beginning. Let go. And boom, it's created everything. And it's also named the tracks. And if we jump ahead... Okay, there, everything's working there. And if we if we hit Command Equals, it'll jump back and forth between our Mix window and our Edit window. And with our Mix window here, I can solo different items. And I'm up and running. The one last thing I would suggest doing is select the furthest right track and go to Track new which is command shift n and change this to a stereo master fader and now you have that nice master fader at the end we can see how what our levels at and our levels are actually pretty hot so i'm going to start by turning things down a little bit as we progress but that's how to get started we have a session, we have the multi-tracks imported, and we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. 